you don't want to have to drive 20 minutes to and then 20 minutes from the gym just to take a 30 minute spin class. You want a home gym spin bike to get the job done and frankly, not break the bank. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you what to look for in a spin bike for your home gym. The No Fade Channel, checking in. Jonathan here and when it comes to home gym equipment, we all want cheap equipment. That isn't really cheap if you catch my drift. And spin bikes are no different. They range in price greatly and it's really hard to figure out what is going to suit your specific needs for your home gym, especially since none of us are gonna be taking on the Tour de France anytime soon. So today I'm gonna to break down what you should be looking for in a spin bike while I review this brand new RIT Fit Budget Spin Bike to show you the pros and cons of going budget and what you should be looking out for. There's a wide extreme when it comes to the price points on spin bikes. You go on Amazon, you can find one as low as probably $250, and they range as high as $2,000 if you get the Peloton with the beautiful, nice screen in front of you. You can also get the Nordic Track commercial for about a 1K, and you can get the Schwinn IC4 for $700. This Red Fit comes in at $350 before any coupons, and most of these home gym equipment companies will supply coupons from time to time to entice you to hit that Buy It Now button. Just a little bit about RitFit the company. They're known for delivering budget home gym equipment that usually meets or exceeds your expectations. And this spin bike is no different. Anything under $500 for a spin bike should be considered budget. Why do spin bikes make exceptional home gym cardio equipment? Number one is the footprint. It doesn't actually take up much space whatsoever, and they are easy to move in and out of position. Spin bikes are low impact on your joints, and when it comes to online free classes, there's only like 100,000 of them available on YouTube, so any type of duration or intensity that you want in a spin bike program, you can just pull it up on your phone or your iPad. The first thing you wanna look for in any spin bike is stability and comfort. Number one, the seat here is quite comfortable and you've got a little bit of an indent for your crotch. And I will tell you that once you put this thing down on the floor and adjust the actual footing, it does become quite stable on the floor. Now, one of the big issues here that I noticed right away when, when actually working out was the seat. Believe it or not, I triple checked. This seat is ratcheted down as tight as possible and it still has quite a lot of give in the seat, unfortunately. Another thing to look out for when it comes to a spin bike is the resistance, and that comes in two forms. Number one is the strength of the resistance. You never wanna have a bike that is going to be too weak for you, so that when you are up in the saddle and you're actually standing up and getting after it, you never wanna feel like, hey, if I needed to go harder, I needed to add a bit more resistance, it's there. The other thing you wanna have is smoothness of the resistance, so that it's not jerky, so that it feels like a professional spin bike, like if you were on the road. Now at the lower setting, this RitFit spin bike does feel smooth and comfortable. Unfortunately, when you ratchet it up and you really get after it, you can feel the jerkiness as your front foot kind of comes over. It really is noticeable the higher in resistance you go. The handles, they're exactly what I expect from a budget spin bike. They get the job done, but they're nothing really to write home about. You have a place for your phone or your tablet. But the big issue is this front screen. Typically with the spin bike, you're not looking for much information on this front screen. Maybe RPMs, maybe resistance, nothing massive, nothing major, but this is exceptionally cheap and exceptionally small. Uh, frankly, I wish they had put a bit more effort into some of the smaller nuances. You can see while I'm just using this a little bit, there is some significant give in the actual front handle. Even the really expensive spin bikes are gonna have just a tad bit of give in this front handle because of the way it's designed. However, because we only paid 350 for this one, you're gonna see a lot more give because, hey, it's a budget piece of equipment and there are gonna have to be some sacrifices. The Red Fit spin bike will get the job done. If you're looking for something to move the joints, get the work in, and just frankly, have something as a backup plan to maybe a local gym or your other equipment, this will work. However, I wish they came in at a little bit lower price tag. At $350, 
there are better pieces of equipment at lower price points. And if you're willing to spend more money, you can get some exceptional spin bikes. The one that I've used for over two years now has been the Schwinn IC4 in my home. This thing gets used probably three to four times a week by my wife and I, and we go pretty hard on it and it has held up. It does well at the higher resistances and it has some of the nicer features that I have previously mentioned. You don't need to spend a fortune to get something that's gonna be right for you, but you do need to do your research. Especially when you go budget, it's a lot harder to separate uh, some of the cream from the crop. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are like fake Amazon reviews and foreign made equipment. We're officially best friends. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.